All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Forum Thread Podcast. Hello. I am with Dabra, and here with me tonight, I have the elusive Nobod. Howdy, guys. The consistent Chaos Mana. Ayes. The crazy Lozelda. Hello. The strange Zap45. <laughs> yeah, of course. And new person whom I don't really know. Chazzy! <laughs> Chazzy! Yeah. Yo, uh, Dark, don't take this weird or anything, but you um, have a fabulous voice. I, I'm, I'm in love with your voice. <laughs> why do you think he's the host? Exactly. Great voice, great voice. Precisely. When my computer's not shitting on me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and podcast done. That's all that Alrighty, <laughs> and over. <laughs> so, and see. Yeah, I... I I got so wrapped up with trying to get my my stupid computer to work that I actually didn't really think of any topics to talk about. So please, for the love of God, someone what? talk no, about No, we something. have we have we plenty. Yeah, we got plenty. <laughs> Go ahead, Lozelda. Hit Beautiful. It off. I love you guys. All Home right. run right off. So, right off the bat. I I I'm gonna start with um a a recent pet peeve of mine. Uh, bring your kid to work day. Is they still do that. Terrible. It's fucking terrible. It's great for the kids. You don't have to go to school. It's fantastic. So my company actually like fully embraces bring your kid to work day to the point where they like actually like put on events and they're like, hey, like we'll have breakfast in the morning and Ew. they'll do like presentations to kind of like <laughs> do fun cool. things with the kids or whatever. And and it's great and all, except for the fact that they redid our cubes. So instead of like everybody having their own cube, I made like a giant cube that has four desks in it. <laughs> I'm in a so there's now. four of us in this one like kind of communal okay. area. And one of the my four cube mates uh, had their eight year old with them. And, and you were trapped this... with this eight year old in your little cube space? Yeah, so I don't oh, do kids no. anyways. Fuck kids. I, mean, <laughs> that's why I, have I don't dogs, think you should okay? do that. That's illegal, Zelda. What's so, wrong with that? Uh, very that's funny. frowned upon um, in so, many countries. I'm, yeah. Many, but not all, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. Anyways, uh, Wait, oh gosh. So I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm trying to do work. And what's happening behind me is this eight-year-old going, Mommy, what, Mom, what are you, what are you doing? Are you what just, do you like, even just clicking stuff? Do? You're just like clicking stuff. Are you just click, click, click? Do you even read anything? It looks like, oh, you just clicked something else. And she's giving a play-by-play <laughs> of everything her mom is clicking. <laughs> oh, and I'm like, my I'm going to strangle you did, with my computer mouse. Did I she? Can't I, did she look like she was getting annoyed at this, or would just passively put it on? She wanna, doesn't have to get annoyed. I didn't want to turn around and make eye contact, because I was afraid of what I might do when I was locked in <laughs> on the <laughs> I was like, I'm like, I don't... And then I was like, I kind of, like, as a joke, wanted to make a stink about it, to be like, hey, look, um, I can't have kids. This is discrimination. I would like to bring my dogs, <laughs> uh, because they are my babies. You should try, yeah. I don't think it's sure. fair. But then I would be the person who ruined Bring Your Kid to Work Day for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> be that person. Be like, oh, can't, yeah. can't do it anymore, because somebody had to complain. <laughs> it doesn't sound like you're really ruining it, though. It sounds like you're actually doing everyone else a favor by... Yeah, the kids can play with the puppies. It. It'll be great. Yeah, I would think it'd be great. I well, that then then it'd be like there's a bunch of people that would probably have pets. Like I'm sure if you'd be wanting to bring your dog, that it wouldn't it'd be fine. Would just sit in your lap at the but office. I want to bring like my that. snake. Not <laughs> well, no, well, no. I'm saying that not all. Uh, probably a lot of other pets would be kind of okay. But then you just hear bark, 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 like all across the office. I'm still confused someone about not one quite thing, as well behaved pets. Like okay, so let, let's say that um, it, it, is this bring your child to work? There's something that your work actually does, or is it like a national? Is it a holiday? What I'd like, what kid says, oh, I'm going to, I want to go with, to work with you today, mommy. And then the mom's like, oh yeah, that's a great to... idea. Like, was it the mom's idea? Was it the kid's it's the idea? Not, it's the not going to school thing. Yeah. The kid doesn't have to go to school. Anything to avoid having Anything to go to, to school. Avoid school. Even if you're going to someplace else and it's like, oh, I have to like behave and stuff, but it's like, I'm not at school. It's all... It's it, it's all it's all a mindset. I, yeah, I love like, going. I just to work don't remember ever like this being a big deal when I was a kid. Uh, so uh, right? I I don't know. I, I guess I'm when I was a child, just, I was like, the whole oh my thing God, just confuses trips, me. Science museum, anything that's not like sitting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can says... imagine a uh, interactive bring your child to work day for someone who works at a slaughterhouse. Oh yeah, um, sure. <laughs> at least that would be interesting. I mean, if you're just gonna like 
trade sitting in a classroom for sitting at a computer desk watching your mom <laughs> click on the on a mouse <laughs> and pointing out then... like the, the the only way to pass the time is really to give a play by like otherwise you'd just be sitting there bored out of your head. <laughs> well, was this kid old enough to have a phone? Because if um, I if I was a kid and I was stuck at work with my parents and watching them click something that I didn't know what they were doing, then I'd be like, I'm gonna talk to my friends <laughs> on the internet. Give me my phone, please. I don't know. I love how you yeah, said like old she, enough to, to me, have a phone. To me, she looked old enough to have a phone. But at this point, it's also because, I mean, like, it's so skewed that age there. It's like, are they old enough to have a phone? It's like, I don't know. Are they in preschool? Yeah, they're probably old enough to have a phone. Now. Yeah, like, phones are pretty easy to operate these days. Is so That line is so weird. But even, like, with that, it's like, this was, I, I called her an eight-year-old. She's probably older than that, but. She's like, she's like, it, wait, it, it might as well have been, it might as well have been like that anyway. I, so what's the cutoff age for bring your child to work day? I, I would maybe? figure like eight would be the maximum. Nah, I think it was like 12 or something, because I remember going to work with my dad. I wanted to be like, I wanted to just, a random other, like, dude is like 20 year old is just showing up in the office. Put like, your ass to work. To work. Like, oh, you know what? That would are, be hilarious. Are you an intern? No, I'm, I'm here for parent. I should child. do that to my mother. <laughs> yeah. Next year, next year I should do that to my mother. Like, just show up at her work one day and she's like, what's going on? I'm like, it's bring your child to work day. I'm here for the night. Or <laughs> here for the day. <laughs> ah, I'm here for the night. <laughs> Before that evening shift. I'm here for the night. I'm staying. I brought beer. <laughs> I know when I was growing up, kind of like the lot, the cutoff was like if you were, it was like up through middle school. Like as soon as you went to high school, you couldn't do it. But like even in middle school, it was actually encouraged because they would actually use that as part of like a project in class. Like you know, do the bring your kid to work day kind of thing, and like essentially like shadow your parents and write a report on yeah. like what they yeah. do and like crap like that. So we had to do that, oh, and that was okay. like up through. I remember doing that in like eighth grade where they were like, hey, actually like. Go and do it, but you have an assignment associated with it. Okay, that, so today, that makes more sense. Uh, that my mom kind of stole a fun. stapler, and she also funded Bunny to her offshore bank account. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a plus. <laughs> Well, my dad, what he would do is because, like, uh, he worked for IBM and stuff like that, so tech companies, he would receive a whole bunch of emails. So he's like, okay, son, so mark, mark all the ones that say HR under uh, spam. And then he would go off to the vending machine and grab, you know, who's he, what's it's because – and I was like, I just click, 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 and then, you know, I would write my report, organized emails for my dad – and then when he was on break, we'd play Tekken in the break room because they had a fucking Tekken machine <laughs> and it was rad as fuck. So I loved Wait. fucking bring your kid to, to work day because the places that my so parents let, worked were pretty sweet. let's back up for a second. You, so you, you marked all the emails marked HR as spam, like yeah. as in human resources, yeah, yeah. like would, within the, within your, own co- your own company? Yeah, he would give me particular part, departments that he thought was annoying and didn't re- give or send out any important information. Oh my and god, that's I would, terrible. <laughs> I would mark them as spam. I think it's hilarious. His HR department is not sending out important information, I think. Think that's they need amazing. To revisit what HR. <laughs> well, that's it's the, like, Dad. Uh, dude, a what's lot this of the email time about sexual assault. No, it's like, a lot I'll of the time. It's like happy, spam, it's casual Friday. Don't forget to bring your flip flops and all that other bullshit. Like I was in a cubicle <laughs> once for ten months. I'm like, oh, fucking HR. You like all of it's useless. All of it. Like there was not a single fucking email I received <laughs> from f- all yeah. of it's the useless. Fuck's HR reminds them about that kind of like our HR is like, are you showing up? Are you getting paid? All right, cool. And it's like our our managers are the ones who are like, it's you know silly hat day, or it's like it's the managers uh, that do shit. Yeah. <laughs> it, like HR does not give a rat's ass. They're like, are you here? Well, <laughs> Did you fall and hurt yourself while you were at work? I don't okay, know. good. I guess Go it's away. because yeah, that's how my <laughs> HR is. They're like, Damn. please, for the love of God, don't cut yourself on anything sharp. I, I guess other than that, just, or anything dull, yeah. don't, don't, just don't. Don't just be an don't. Have you have you had any injuries that bring your kid to work day? No. Not me. <laughs> Who, was that directed That'd to be, Zelda? Because yeah, was, I don't have a yeah, kid. Yeah. I work in a fucking cubicle. If someone hurts themselves, it's because they're trying to. <laughs> it's because they have to. <laughs> that's why I was just wondering. <laughs> yeah. It wouldn't be the, obviously, people, it, just the kids being yeah. kids. Yeah, I mean, remember, I've only been there for a year. This is this was, I started just after. Did you get a paper cut and, and had to go to the ER? What, what's going on? You know? God. <laughs> yeah, basically. Well, some some I, companies are really anal like that. They're like, no matter how minor the injury, make sure you report it yeah, to us. Yeah, they're liable or whatever. Like, um, 
Okay, I stubbed my toe on my desk earlier. I get a thirty-minute break. Want you guys, to know, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, better. You telling me this has given me a migraine. <laughs> actually, when I when I started my job at Whole Foods, they explained it pretty pretty interestingly. I'd never actually had had them be, anyone be as blunt about it. They're like, look, uh, what. We do want you to report any injury, no matter how minor it is. Not so much because we want to, you know, we don't want to keep tabs on you. We really don't care unless you're actually hurt. But should <laughs> you like stub your toe on something and then like your toenail get infected and you have to have surgery or something like that, we want to have that paper trail so that our insurance company knows, hey, this was something that happened on the job and we can cover you. It's for all it. liability. So it's for your own yeah. good. I'm like, oh, you know, that's actually kind of cool. All right, I can see where you're coming from. But you know that's not going to happen. It's it, going to be like but... <laughs> it's... dark. You... But it's cool. That it I mean, from. it's cool that they're saying it that way. But you know that's not going to fucking happen. They're just like, oh, so we have a paper trail so but... that we make you liable because that box shouldn't have been there because you moved it, and they just do this whole like corporate swing around and fuck no, you. I think these people, the way the dark's been talking, you know, about them, I think the, that it would just be the the company's insurance. Like those guys might be asses about it, but I think. The people Dark's working yeah, with. Yeah, are as long as jealous. you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, they're they're happy. That's they don't care. Yeah, as long as you're doing your goddamn job and putting in a, a, maybe even above a little minimum effort, then I'm sure they'll well, be no, happy. Well, one of the the main things why I got hired on there was because they liked me. That's why it's so hard to get a job there. They're like, yeah. look, we we really only hire people that we think that will you'll be fun to work with. So we want to hire people that, you know, I get a good vibe about, you oh, know, cool. so they, they try and make sure everybody is going to get along pretty well. And anyone hired that, by some that fucking you don't hippies? really, Christ, like, <laughs> yeah, anyone yeah, that doesn't, foods. yeah, if someone start it, it acts kind of weird or they're, they're just kind of standoffish or something like that, they tend to not last very long. There. Fair enough. So it's, so, so the interview is a popularity contest? Basically. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> they want to make sure that, you know, they're like, oh, I like you. Let me go get this other guy, see if to he likes you. Oh, yeah, they like you. Let me go get this other to, person, see to, if they like to you. Be, okay, to be all three of us like, like you. A counter You're on your way to president. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, to counter-argument the whole popularity contest thing, it's, it's about intuition. You know, there is a level of, of understanding the human uh, psyche to some extent via someone a vibe that somebody gives off. Like, oh, that person's creepy, and, or that person's cool, or that person's kind. You can you can sort of get that vibe immediately by the, who, who they are, you know, because as, as we've evolved for the last few million years, we've kind of had to have a stand... We have to grow this awareness of each other to protect ourselves on a, on a, you know, like physical and mental level. So I guess that's, it's, it's a popularity contest, but at the same time, time, it's like, uh, feeling out who's, you know, who, who should be a part of the herd and that kind of thing. It won't. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I can understand where you're coming from, but, uh, like in, in this, with this particular place, it's more like there's, there's a very fine orchestration of people that, that happen behind the scenes that keep everything running and making sure that everyone gets along with each other and that um, oil like you, you keep that you kind of keep that positive energy up too because you know like um, I'll, I'll use the example of when I worked at Best Buy uh, when I worked at Best Buy they did the whole let's keep that positive energy up yada 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 and it, and it was just yeah. the most annoying god awful thing ever in fact it made me hate my job there um, where whereas at this place it it they kind of take care of that ahead of time just by making sure that the people that you're working with are actually pretty cool people in general. So because everyone knows what they're supposed to be doing mm -hmm. and everyone tends to get along with each other, it's just kind of like it almost sometimes it doesn't really feel like work. It's just that I've got this thing to do and I'm going to do it with these people that I'm just going to sit here and talk to while I do it. Yeah. it it's kind of nice. So I see what they're trying yeah. to do, whether or not they succeed completely, you know, human, you know, with the whole human error thing, mm -hmm. I'd say they succeed mostly. They succeed mostly. But on a higher percentage that makes the environment good, basically. Yeah, there's still some people yeah. there that I, yeah. I wonder, like, how the fuck do you still have a job here? <laughs> there's this chick really. with pink hair that, like does the she she sounds like one of those 80-year-old smoker ladies off of uh, uh like the <laughs> uh, uh, What's that cartoon uh uh Spongebob. the Atlant Disney's Atlantis cartoon oh, that one? you know that that oh, old lady yeah. the whole world we're all oh, yeah. gonna die. We're all gonna die her. here. She sounds like her every time a song comes on the radio, and we're and I'm in the break room with her. She's oh no, is she singing? No, she's complaining about the song selection. Oh, like, oh. It's the only interaction I ever hear from her, no matter what song comes on, she's like, "Oh Jesus, not again!" I'm like, what? It, she's not even like talking to me. She's just talking to herself, and I'm like looking over at her while I'm eating. 
And I'm like, huh? And then she looks over at me like, this song, it's killing me. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Not fast. <laughs> but I, I, I go back to doing my own business, and the next song comes on, and then she's like, oh, no, not this one. And it's a completely different genre and everything. I'm like, you hate this one too? She's like, yes, this one's the worst. I'm like, okay, well, Maybe it's on a I'm loop just going to leave the break room <laughs> as fast as I can because you're weird. You're breaking my soul. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's like... Th- I, I, there's some music I don't like and one or two songs I can't stand and I'll be vocal about it, but damn! Yeah, I, I don't know how long, how much longer these, she's actually going to be Are these there. songs on repeat? Like, or are you just listening to the local radio, like, top 40s list? No, like I, it's, it's some sort of mix a, oh. of everything from all time. Okay. So we'll, we'll bounce around from playing something from the 50s to playing, like, punk rock, then playing, like, we, I don't, I've never heard actual straight up classical music. But we went from list, uh, playing that one song, um, I don't remember who does it, that uh, I Hate Everything About You song, to, uh, three like, uh, <laughs> to like, yeah, Three Days Grace, yeah. to Rock and Robin from, like, the 19... The hell? Wait, how long, how long has that mine. woman worked there? Like, maybe it's that same mix of songs all the yeah. time, and she's just, like, finally losing yeah. it. I have no idea. <laughs> I, that's my, been my extent of, of interaction with her, and I give her her space. <laughs> Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to be over here enjoying my food. You you have fun. God. Uh, no, so, my, my... It, it's, it's, it seems to be at least a little better than mine. Uh, it's really like the same. It must be like yeah. 15 or less songs. <laughs> so I just oh, have to shit. drown That's it out. That's the way it was when I worked at Pier 1. Oh, especially well. during the fucking you holidays. The Christmas music, yeah, it was awful. <laughs> it was awful. Uh, low like point. Minute here, who was like, "Oh, I'm not. I'm shocked." Hey, I wish it was. A, I wish it was just like a popular radio station because even though it's they play a lot of the some, same songs, yeah, it some still variety. slowly changes. Some. I'm so spoiled with Pandora. I've got like five Pandora stations that I've meticulously manicured over the last yeah. few years, <laughs> and I have so much variety. It's like your I, uh, virtual Zen garden, or your like bonsai tree. You've just been very <laughs> beautiful. Pretty much. I even oh, give shit, them cool names. That? that was me. Sorry. Good job. <laughs> so, so I've got one, one, one station. Um, it's mostly female station, and I call it Vacation to Venus Radio. Nice. Okay. And then I've got another one that's a most mostly male singers that just kind of no no real genre, just male singers, and it's um, Vacation. Uh, no, not Vacation. Um, road trip. Road trip to Mars. So we got the whole Venus Mars thing, and then I've got another one that's based off of like Lindsey Strilling with the whole kind of um, uh, dubstep meets classical music, and I call that one Mechanical Strings Radio. Oh, cool, cool. I've got a couple others. I don't remember what I call them, like, um, but I try and give them all creative names so that when I'm like, "What am I in the mood for?" and I'm looking through my list, I'm like, "Yeah." I wish I was inspired I like you. I'm just, I have in this moment radio, which is in this moment, and a whole bunch of other bands like Breaking Benjamin, Evanescence, and. Um, then I have like classic rock, Walt Disney, The Cure, The Moody Blues, Armor for Sleep, Clint Eastwood Radio, Snoop Dogg Radio, then Agnes, The Daughter, Flogging Molly, Alternative Today, Smooth Jazz, and Classical. Like, I just Smoke smooth. weed every day. Jazz. I listen to like yeah, I listen to everything. <laughs> Music's awesome, man. Like it, and, and what's so great about it? There's so many different genres and so many different varieties of music that it's endless. You'll never get bored of anything because there's always something else you can explore in a different genre. Oh well, yeah, there, I've, I've tweeted a couple times oh, yeah. when uh, Pandora threw a random artist at me that I had no idea who they were, completely obscure, but like the song that was playing was really fucking good, and I'm like, so I have to look them up on YouTube later on and like listen to more of their yeah. stuff, and then I'll be like, holy shit, thank you, Pandora. I had no idea these card. people existed. It's, it was probably Yellow Card. It's always Yellow Card. <laughs> yellow Card is not obscure, and they've been around for like a decade now. every time i hear a random song it just turns out to be yellow card and i'm like what the fuck no the only thing <laughs> yellow card has up. going for it is that they have that electric violin and that's about it everything else about them is kind of mediocre i enjoy i, I wouldn't be able to Good say either you. i wouldn't be able to say either way i've, I've never listened to yellow card cut yellow card. you're not missing much mm. don't bother you Me. probably listen to yellow card Pro- they, they probably really popular songs i don't doubt it just pop up and you just had no idea they were theirs 
Probably. Oh, yeah. did anybody see my uh, my my tweet from earlier today? I had a brilliant genius moment. I was so proud of myself. I will be the judge. Of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh boy! Thing. You'll have to rate it one to ten on okay. the genius right. scale. Lay it on. Me. So no, this, this is video game related. Wink. So you Wait, all what? know I have an undying love for the SimCity franchise. Oh yeah, I saw that. Oh, SimCity yeah, 2013. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Shocking. So I'm sitting there, and I've been playing Cities Skylines, which, as I've mentioned before, is yes. like everything SimCity 2013 should have been. And I'm listening to the music, and the, the music is just not as good as the SimCity music has been. And it's there's not a not a lot of it. So um, I'm I decide to go ahead and look through the Steam Workshop and see if I can find like a music mod, which they did have. And so this lets you add custom <laughs> wow. music to oh, it. So cool. I download the couple songs that they have provided, uh, the communities provided, and then I'm like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add the Sim City 5 soundtrack to my City's Skyline game. So I went to YouTube, found the entire soundtrack as one audio file, downloaded it as <laughs> an entry, and then converted it into some, I don't remember the strange like a format, dot and FLV stuck it in the file. Or dot OGG. FLAC. No, not, it wasn't a flag. Uh, it might have been a fl- Yeah, it might have been a flag. Yeah. Oh. Uh, whatever it was, it, it was unusual. I had to like do one of those digital converters. Oh, and it took a long time to do, but I, had to I do did it and I converter. stuck it in the file, and now I have the entire SimCity 5 soundtrack while I'm playing City Skylines, nice. and it is epic. Because the um, composer is the same composer that did the Fringe theme song, and I absolutely love his style of music. It's kind of whimsical, kind of dark, but but just kind of cool. But it's it's better for yes, the mood. Yes, it's perfect to basically. build cities with. It's like I just kind of get in my zone, and the next thing I know, three hours have gone by, and I'm like, I regret nothing. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I feel no remorse for my actions. Yeah, like... I've been f- feeling less like that when it comes to video games and the internet, because I feel like I've been sort of in- just encumbered by the internet and video games in general, because I've become, like, really entangled, I, I guess. T- I guess we're getting a little real, but... Entangled? Well, yeah, I feel, you know, I feel... <laughs> That's an interesting word choice. Please, yeah, I please f- explain. I feel, to a certain point, I'm I'm no longer journeying for a short time but i'm living on the internet which isn't a bad thing unnecessarily but at the same time it's like you shouldn't let the internet and the your hobbies sort of encompass the all of your life i guess is sort of what i've realized so i'm i'm not like gonna quit the internet anytime soon i'm just sort of taking a few <laughs> steps back and you become a become a hermit go live in the woods <laughs> quit the internet at the same at the same time that that's an attitude that has been existing for a long time to not get too involved True. when these type of things have become your yeah. main source of entertainment your main source of communication and your main source of basically life itself you don't necessarily need to take as much of a step back as you know one yes. might think. Oh, yeah. While you should maybe s- stare ev- at a screen twenty four seven, you know, get you know, go yeah. to the gym, work out, stuff like that, keep yourself in shape. If you know, th- you don't have to make a distinction like these are my well, no, real no, friends, yeah, these are my course. internet friends. Making... The internet has to be the internet itself can- is becoming it, yeah, life shit, I'm... just because of how digital. Yeah, like one of those people that hugs one. their computer monitor and is like, "I love my computer. All my friends live inside it." <laughs> That's me. <laughs> well, there's nothing <laughs> wrong with me. that. I'm hey, just... hey, you turned to Ken. Why aren't you like, in the computer? I was twenty four seven on the on the internet on doing something on a screen, and I felt like it was just sort of overtaking my life. So I wanted to take a step back and just breathe a well, bit. So now that's... you have a girlfriend. So you yeah, can exactly. Do in the couch. Ex- exactly. Whoa! Bed. You have a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. I have a girlfriend. She's awesome. When did this happen? Um, last. You haven't been Sunday. following his Facebook. I've been busy with two jobs. <laughs> been... I think it was the twenty sixth <laughs> or twenty. No, it's the twenty. Yeah, okay, twenty six. Okay. So it's like a brand <laughs> yeah, new girlfriend. Yeah, twenty six, okay. twenty fifth, twenty six, somewhere around there. Yeah, we've been together for about Wait, four so days. It's, but we've been it's talking because you got a new lotion. Uh, sh- <laughs> no, um, excuse me. Um, Wait, so you, you Wait, guys? It, it's there? been four days, and it's Facebook official already. What? Uh, we, yes, we were talking for. No, they've been. They knew each yeah, other for a while. We were talking and, um, and just chatting for about two, three weeks, and then we're like, you know. 
They decided to take a step up from friends with benefits. He was like, hey, girl. Hey, girl. No, like... You, you, my, you my girl. <laughs> that was more like, yo, trick. <laughs> you my bae. It's like... <laughs> he, he didn't actually tell her that they were no, official. Was, he just, no, he just, he just, he just nodded at her. We both agreed that it's like... Guys, honey, it's on the podcast. <laughs> well, we both, we both agreed if we're going to be together, we might as well, what, uh, might as well be together. <laughs> as a, might as well. Jesus. My words. <laughs> I don't know. I just get all happy when I think about her. Cause it's like... She's awesome. She's so nerdy too. Happy yeah. in what way? Just like I get all warm and fuzzy. Da, 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 da. You know, like I got like butterflies in my stomach. Blood goes to places where it shouldn't be. Okay, let me let me ask you a question. When's the last Twitter, time you had a Twitter girl paid for her? Um, Ooh, probably good question. Probably about a year, and it's it's the same thing along the lines with her. Uh, I believe about that long. So yeah, she also has a crickets. Kid. Yeah. Crickets. Very nice yeah. looking kid. Yeah, she's cute. That came off weird. <laughs> wait, yeah, no no <laughs> what are you talking about? No, no one. wait a minute. Didn't you have a, like someone interested in you for a short period of time? For I did. A while ago? But you know, I'm me, so you can't really expect people to keep up with it, can you? Yeah, um... I would dump your ass too. <laughs> wait, you, you're Probably saying there was a chance? It might throw you off in the first part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I, you, you you come off as a little iffy at first, You're like is he, isn't he? I don't know. Uh, oh well, yeah. I can see someone like having absolutely no idea and just being like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try, yeah. and then be like, yeah, that was a mistake. She likes... I'm leaving now. Yeah, I don't know. Like when someone's like, I would, I want to get a elvish phrase on as a tattoo, like uh, from Lord of the Rings. You know that that's awesome because that's kind of the nerdiness I, I like, love so much. Like, There's one of the um amazing. the rings given to one of the dwarf lords that yeah. is really awesome. What's engraved on it, and I yeah. wanted it, but I can't remember what it is. I, I I haven't done any like I'm not extremely into that particular universe, but I would totally look into it if it had something cool to say. Does anybody here have any tattoos right now? I'm going to be getting. I have two. I I'm do. going to be getting the Deathly Hollows on my left forearm because I'm Zach Potter, and that's kind of Zach. Think about it. Get him a face. Yeah, I guess I had a, that was a dumb Give moment because I knew you had a tattoo, Lizelda, because I remember seeing the pictures of it. But uh, I definitely didn't know. Um, oh, you! Uh, I accepted your friend request, and now I don't see your screen name anymore. So I'm just seeing Chastity Torres. What's your uh, screen don't name? Don't say that name. Don't say that name. <laughs> What's your screen name? Chazzy. I need your screen it's name. Chazzy. 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 What what are your tattoos of? Uh, one is a Sly Cooper mask, uh, and right underneath it, yeah. it's uh, the Rage Quit, like actual Rage Quit font. Cool. <laughs> Yo, nice. I haven't played Sly Cooper in forever. Yeah, it was one of my first I've games. I've only I played I a owned. demo of it. Oh, so good. Yeah, the new one though, like the one that came out like Sly Cooper Four, like Thieves in Time, was absolute garbage because it was made by like a totally different company. Not Insomniac Games, so, basically. Like the most recent Star Fox. <laughs> is it? Wait, what do you mean, most recent Star Fox uh, the, Command? The one that was fucking, like, with, like, the dinosaurs and shit, and it made no sense, and you were like, who the fuck is That's Avengers. Game? That's an older one. Yeah, that was on the GameCube, Wasn't dumbass. that the most recent one, though? Like, there isn't <laughs> no. no, there's been at least two, if you don't count the remake. Remakes don't count. Yeah, remakes don't count. Well, yeah, so, so then there's been two uh, since okay, that so game. Okay, I thought what? you were... Okay. Where? Yeah, and Star... There's been... That, that one you're talking about is Star Fox Advent yeah. uh, Adventures, then there's Star Fox Assault, and then there's Star Fox Command for the DS. And Star Fox Adventures had, yes, had the count. same thing happen to it as the Super Mario World 2 did, or, in, or Super Mario Brothers 2 did in the United States, where it wound up being a completely different game, and they're like, hey, let's just put Mario characters in, only this time it was Star Fox characters yeah. in it. So yeah, it was a completely <laughs> different game that... They just decided, hey, let's stick Star Fox in it. And sure, why not? Yeah, so. What go go On its own merit, it was actually okay, I thought. It was It was pretty fun to play. Like, maybe as a sequel to what you were expecting from the first Star Fox game, it was, you know, awful. I mean, Star but Fox as its own, game. yeah, as its own that was game. was not the first Star Fox game. There was one on the NES. Well, I meant, as, you know, as a, as a sequel to the Star Fox series, then. Fucking Wait, Super Mario Brothers Two was the one where everything was hella floaty, right? Yeah, yeah, that was, was a different game entirely. Whatever, Japan. And pick up turnips out of the ground. For yeah. It was like reason. Doku Doku Panic. Or yeah, that's some yeah. It was Doku Doku thing. Panic. Like, the, it reskinned Doku why? Doku. Okay, so have you played that game? Would you understand why it looks like there's little trains coming at you? <laughs> nope. 
I've, like, I've seen gameplay of that it. That game ruined Thomas the Tank Engine for me. Like yeah. all these other kids, they were like, "Yo, <laughs> I all about think the Thomas you're the Tank confused. Engine." Yeah, but what are you talking you about? Like you're fucking, confused too. And fucking trains coming at you. And shit. Find us a picture and maybe what? we can sympathize yes, with you a little more. Yeah, because, because right enemies, now, just the basic enemies that you can like pick up and throw. <laughs> What? what? No. What are you talking about? <laughs> he's, he's insane. Someone <laughs> fetch a straight jacket for him <laughs> and <laughs> tuck him in tightly. <laughs> if you don't have a photo on our desk by ten more minutes, Person. then you're officially crazy. He's rocking back and forth Person. in the corner going, the trains, man, the trains. The like, train. There are no trains <laughs> in that video coming game. After me, man. <laughs> None. Coming after add, me, <laughs> add me in the land or the dogs start to die. Oh, God. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> Starting with uh, this puppy. For context, and uh, we are currently on the dying grump server for uh, TFTopia. Oh, there. And unfortunately, the actual s- city that we uh, worked so hard on is going to actually be reset on Friday. Yeah. Want, want. So we're, we have to pack, literally pack up our bags into ender chests and move yeah. out. Oh. Well, you know, you know what's uh, really cool? Actually, um, just being it's just new servers. Um, I just started in building a new server with like Tom uh, Kilkilly and Bearded, Bearded Gaming for like an RPG server. So it's like got Hexit mods on it. Cool. Oh, so it's nice. got like scripts and stuff like that. So like we're trying not to give away the IP address as much, but people keep giving it. And uh, it's like right now it's just like me and, and Zach kind of building it. Uh, but it's like pretty dope. I mean, if if this doesn't go well, you can rebuild in our land. Cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will take you up on that offer. Yeah, that was a really good evil laugh. <laughs> I'm impressed. I have a pretty decent evil laugh. I your your turn, Zelda. On occasion, my your turn, turn. For, yeah, for, for evil, evil laugh. laugh. Oh, I don't know. It's I gotta do it spontaneously. I can't fake it. It's gotta be organic. It's gotta be organic. Yeah. Oh, fuck, <laughs> God! <laughs> if you were an actor, you would have been such a prissy, prissy person to work with. It's like it has to be organic. <laughs> Take fifty six. Fuck! I like how you just pointed out exactly why I don't do any acting of any oh, kind. Oh, God. Ugh. She'd be like, Nightmare, I ordered man. the blue M&Ms. These are green, blue, what? and yellow M&Ms. What, what the fuck, fuck is wrong with that. you? Who's, who's <laughs> the fuck up? Whose job am I taking today? <laughs> Whose job? Is it yours, Jimmy? Is it yours? <laughs> get the fuck over here. Like, I can see it. I can the see it. The closest I've been able to get to any kind of acting is... I. I've done some voice acting stuff, but it's like, yeah. I, I have a particular way, like, I, it's very clear what I need to be doing, and I have time to get in my head and, like, like get into that space for it. So, like, when when I did the, um, when Jeremy was doing his epic rap battles of uh, Rooster <laughs> yeah. Teeth, and I did the text voice, I did the text lines. Sweet. And so it's like, I had that, I had those lyrics, and I had the music for, like, two weeks before I'd actually record. So it's like, I could just, like, listen to that, and then I'd watch some RVB, and, like, I could go back and forth and be like, okay, I'm ready. I can do this now. (laughs) You're like, I'm inside of Texas' mind now. I'm ready to do this. Scary thought. I was like, I got this ready to go, and, like, I had a version of it that Jeremy had actually recorded, like, so that way I could hear, like, the way. Because, like, I had the words, and I had the music, but it's like, how is this supposed to be split up? What's the cadence for it? And he had actually recorded it with music too, so I was like, okay, I know exactly what he's expecting, and 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 I can do this. It's like a voice I am familiar with, so I can I can handle it. And it's like that's the only way I can do stuff like yeah. that. I'm an all right actor. Like I can memorize a script and stuff like that. I mean, I was in theater for fucking three years of my high school life, so I I, I would hope that I learned something. When it comes to so an you've LG been in theater, theater have you ever been on film though? Mm-hmm. No, no. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, nope, I've been on nope. camera, so. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber, so Ooh. there's that, you know. <laughs> oh, well, I was in well, I I was an independent <laughs> film, so mm. <laughs> okay. I beat you. I tipped the hat. Oh, I didn't know we were fucking comparing film size dicks here. I guess, but you yeah, know. Yeah, this is a this is a dick comparing d- dick comparison contest. Okay. So far, Lozelda is winning. But still. Um. That's right. I got the biggest dick of the song. <laughs> What's up, ladies? Uh. I'm just going to stand over here and feel inadequate for a little while. (laughs) Chaos is sitting in the corner like, yeah, I'm actually in the next Avengers movie, so keep laughing, assholes. (laughs) (laughs) Like, no, really, he he is going to be in the next Avengers uh, movie. He's just going to be one of the extras, you know. Yeah. You look no, at I'm actually the new Iron Man. He's actually Chaos Man. Uh, Yeah, Chaos Man, nice. It's like Uh. extra number 614. 
Yep. <laughs> Do they even name extras like that? They <laughs> used to. Look, it's Superman. <laughs> Oh, like that's that's the only uh, actually get to be one of the rare ones that say like point out the heroes or, or whatever. You know, look, it's a play. A hundred bucks per word or some shit like that. Like I thought it was an hourly thing. I don't know. Well, yeah, wouldn't so that? I don't think they pay an uh, an extra a hundred dollars a word. Yeah, there are a lot of like uh, not a hundred. It's like eighty. No. It's like forty to eighty dollars. Yeah, yeah, if it's if if you're an extra and you speak, it's called a featured extra because you actually yeah. have a speaking line. Yeah. If you're not speaking, then you're just an extra. Ah, when they were filming for uh, the Departed, they were asking for like extras, and they were actually paying people like four hundred dollars every day yeah. that you were there. And I was like, "Oh, I'm so young now." Well, they were doing. <laughs> what can I do? Can I die? They were doing a lot of filming in Arizona for the Transformer movies and a whole bunch of other movies. Um, and you just have, it, it turns out Zach's actually one of the first to get killed by the robot. Exactly. Zach's actually Jazz. He's turned in half. <laughs> <laughs> exactly <It's actually> him. <laughs> uh, yep. Did you get crushed by the giant transformer I, testicles? I Is did. That you? I did. Rip. No, I, but I. I'm like. I don't Rip. give up. Like I. I don't. I'm not gonna pursue this. Like fucking. Who cares? Like. It's a cool well, here's a, hobby here's a that I practice upon the occasion. Here's a here's a question. If you got a choice to be in a movie, mm. would you rather be? Uh, one of the few extras that actually get to say a line, or would you rather be the first one to be killed, but you don't get to do anything? <laughs> I'd probably, I'd probably like first to be the first person death. to be. Yeah, on, first on screen death's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So you, so you want to be like every black person? <laughs> well, I mean, think that's how. <laughs> that what you're well, think about Johnny Depp. Like his first role, like was, was being killed by Fre- Freddy Krueger, and now look at him. He has a fucking career. So it's like maybe I could springboard like well. that. Well. You, you, if I just work we can out, use man. the word career in finger quotes because ever since the whole Alice in Wonderland thing, I have not really I, seen him I in don't anything. Oh, man. He, he, he's uh, Mordecai, and there's some other stuff. I fucking... Oh, that's oh right. He did don't do even that. talk about Mordecai. Was it really that bad? It it's looked like bad. just a fun movie to watch. Like, it's not something too serious, you know? Nah, it's just garbage. Yeah, he's not been in, any, in anything good here recently. It's kind of yeah. sad. Like, He's he, on the down downspire of like Adam Sandler ah. and uh, Jim Carrey. Yeah, they need it. Disney needs to give him like a Pirates of the Caribbean five and get him back in Jack Sparrow. They are. They are doing Car- Pirates of the Caribbean yeah. five. Oh, okay. I hope they started filming like a five. Like, I, yeah, I did. I, I think I remember hearing about that, but I hope. I really hope it's better overall than the fourth one was to me. Dear God. Hey, I really like the fourth. The fourth one. one. What, what, they tried too hard to make it. A was movie. it the one where Barbosa had his leg missing? Was it that one? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, that one was all like right. Was, like, turned it was all right for a movie, but as a continuation of the series, yeah. it was like it, the it was completely different than the flow of the like all of the, the other movies. movies. Yeah. Well, it, the other movies yeah. were were set up to follow um, um, what the fuck is their face, Kara Knightley and Orlando Bloom. Yeah. Like they were the main characters, and Jack Sparrow was the secondary character. So this was the first one where he was actually like the main character. So, yeah, it was a completely different feel for the movie, yeah. where it wasn't a swashbuckling advan- uh, action-adventure movie. It was more like a, just a comedy. Yeah. yeah. And, and there and was some pretty like cool a, moments. A side, what was that actor? It was like another actor who was like had his own kind of side story. And then he uh, wanted to like, become... Like, but like it didn't work. They were just trying to add like multiple stories and to make it a one big yeah. yeah. There were a few and the other one, it was a this big kind of overarching story, and of course, you know, it's not going to follow the same one. But at the same time, the like Davy Jones and that whole storyline, it even though it, obviously supernatural it made sense, it all fit together. Uh, the enemy really for this know? one was just kind of there. Because if if you follow the the whole storyline with Davy Jones and his affair with the uh, sea goddess Calypso and mm-hmm. and all that. It's like a lot of it doesn't really make Does sense not? when you start to think about it. I mean, it. How, how so? so? Yeah. yeah. You can ruin any movie by thinking about it. Okay, I, well, yeah. I mean, this one, I actually, you know, been thinking about the story and I like it a whole lot. So what about it doesn't make sense? I mean, on a superficial level, okay, if you just take what they say at face value, it makes sense. But, like, Tia Dalma is the the goddess, you know, the, mm-hmm. the one that turns into a giant and then mm-hmm. turns Calypso. into craps for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Calypso. <laughs> and, and <clears throat> like, the the whole ferrying the dead in the afterlife and, and, and everything. Uh, uh, 
sorry, I, I I can't organize my thoughts right now. I've had a few too many beers, but um, yeah, just but, um, just tr- try and watch the second two. You don't have to watch the first one because it was not intended to be a, a trilogy. Yeah, at was, that point. yeah, at that point when like I watched some of the behind the scenes stuff, and they're like, let's just put as much good. shit into it as possible. And, you know, make the best, craziest, like, fucking pirate movie that we can. And they did. Yeah. And there, and I guess the, the there was such a huge, uh, like, it was really well received. So they're like, okay, what can we do? Can we make a story out of this using these characters? And they did yeah. pretty well. And the, the second and third one, like, it's, yeah, I still like them for what they are. Because you cannot take them seriously. So I like them for what they are. But, like, the because I don't take them seriously is why I still enjoy them so much. But, um, like, the whole story with Davy Jones and Tia Dalma and everything, uh, and the way it incorporates uh, Jack Sparrow and um, Orlando Bloom's character, Will Turner, mm-hmm. and all that. Like, if you if you just really, like, pay attention to, to what they're talking about, the mythos that they're, they're trying to build up, like, big parts of it don't make much sense. I'll have to rewatch it. Together. Yeah. I'll have to rewatch it to see. It seemed to fit together, like, quite well. Like, well... To hear them explain, they don't really explain it. They just kind of say, "Oh, well, this is the way things are because of this, and this is the way things are because of this." And you're like, "Oh, okay." And then, but then we're like, "Wait a minute, why is uh, why why is he supposed to ferry over the people for the you know?" The, oh, you mean like why why does that oh. have to be a job? Because that's that's his lore. That's the lore of Davy Jones. Jones. Yeah, yeah, Davy Jones. And right, but and it's it's so ham-handed. I like, guess okay. his background, but like, why would they, why would she give him that to live job for, to, to, to live forever and to be with that. her forever? She's a goddess. She is no. immortal. She's Im- she's immortal, right? So how how would you give a mortal a job, uh, uh, the ability to live forever? Um, it was actually because he was dying, and yeah. she saved him. I guess maybe and is that she, she did that so he, he would be able to see, she would be see, able to see him sometimes. But you see what I'm saying here? Like we're we're, we're all grasp, grappling at straws trying to make sense. Well, it's it's, 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 it's I, I, I think it's good, one. I have a pretty good oh, answer. Okay. Oh really? Yeah, tell, me, for, tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. It's a Disney. <laughs> oh no! That's the worst <laughs> explanation ever. Like it doesn't have to make sense. Well, that's that's. I guess that that does. There's probably a lot more of those in the movie, but yeah, over, like overall, like, well, the yeah, story yeah, yeah. makes sense for what it is. But there, are, yeah, I guess there's going to be a lot of like, wait, why does it have to be a thing? Well, it, with based yeah, in the, because, the uh, like I said, yeah, it, like yeah. knowing that it has issues doesn't bother me at all because it's just it's but issues fun, aren't really noticeable fun, unless you look for them, honestly. Right, right. Like dark. you can just be like, yeah, oh, I don't picking. <laughs> yeah, I was I about do. to fucking say you can say that for Fuck anything. Fuck you all. It's what I do. It's <laughs> how I get my my pleasure out of you movies. Get your jollies off, you sick fuck. <laughs> no, um. I hate everything <laughs> about you. Wow. <laughs> Shut up, nobody. <laughs> Throw, have have I crazy. voted Nobod off this podcast yet? No? Here, Nobod, you're, you've been voted <laughs> off. Go away. <laughs> Actually, yeah. in 102, you tried to do the same thing. Yeah. We should, turn, End episode we should have a TFT survivor like thing oh, God. where we vote people off. <laughs> but what would we be doing? I would literally fucking murder I, you guys. I figure something out. We're creative. <laughs> so yeah, I like this idea. We should do that. Oh. We could. Oh, hey, creative. speaking of ideas, that would be cool to do. Hey, what's going on with The Sims? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, you Dark. Uh, no, okay, that, that so thing Dark that you were doing for a while. So Dark came. Well, I came to Dark. I'm like, so what's going on? And he gave me this whole thing. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. So what, what I'm thinking about doing is for somebody, if somebody in our group has Sims Three, all Dark has to do is give us the list of mods and the save files, and we can just reboot it up because of his shitty tech issues. He can't really stream and record anymore. So. We can just pass the mantle or the torch or whatever fucking analogy or metaphor you want to use uh, to the person who has Sims 3. Piece of cake. I blame Malcolm. Yeah, it's his fault. <laughs> totally. Yes. It probably is. So, <laughs> like does anyone want to buy a Sims 3? Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's, a deli- there's a donation link in... The- <laughs> Lucas, oh, there's right. a donation link below. I expect the full uh, $30 <laughs> <laughs> on my desk by Wednesday. Exactly. No, what... It's what I'm Wednesday. hoping is that like once uh, I get back into a a routine, um, doing the, the two different jobs and everything, mm-hmm. like there, there's just been a lot of stuff changing. A around, lot of a stuff lot of that's flux. fluid. Yeah. So, yeah. So like with the amount of time it takes to edit a Sims episode, because like we have like three hours of 
content per episode, mm-hmm. sometimes a little bit more. And then to to have to like watch it all and edit it down, it takes a really oh, long Oh, I know how long it takes to edit things like that. To, <laughs> yeah, these to are... chop it down. Yeah. <laughs> so it, I just haven't had the the a combination of the time and the patience. Like if I have the time, then I don't have the patience. If I have the patience, then I don't have the time. So like once I everything starts to level out for me, then I can I can actually start doing it again. I think, but we just it, it's just going to have to wait a little while longer. And there's nothing wrong with that, that you know. Well then. Okay. And l- l- like I was saying, we can always simply uh, well pa- pass the torch. That, or that still you. is if a someone... more intensive game. So I mean, I'm about uh-huh. to be getting a different uh, PC. So in theory, I would just need the game to do something like yeah. that. Yeah, that's but, not so hard to do. So we'll see. We'll see how it works out. And I guess the, yeah. your, your schedule right now is also one of the reasons that you're not able to go to this RTX, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Wait, you're not going to RTX? No, I'm not going to be there this year. Uh huh. I know, sad face. But you know, at the same time, it's you know, it's part of life, and we love you all the same. I will Dark. be there next year. No, you're actually getting Mark kidnapped. My words. I'm getting kidnapped. Yes. yes. Now I organized the kidnapping last year. Somebody else has got to take it this time. <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> Donation? (laughs) 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 There's still that donation link. (laughs) Don't worry about it. Uh, Non-refundable. Give me, give us your money. No, Lucas, um, it'll be about twelve hundred (laughs) dollars. Twelve hundred. Because nobody needs to get there too. Yeah. (laughs) Shit, we gotta organize that as well. We could probably do like a twenty-four hour gaming stream. I mean, I mean. Well, we'll no, we'll see. We'll we'll see. Uh, we are going to do, like, donation streams and stuff in the future now that we're more on a regular streaming schedule. So. Yeah, now that we've got a normal streaming schedule down pat. Oh, and you guys were talking about Survivor, and it made me immediately think of Minecraft. So maybe we could all get on Minecraft and do, like, a virtual Survivor that way. Or we could do uh, some I'm... type of other thing. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Totally. I'm glad it made you think of Minecraft, because the only thing it made me think of was that goddamn Destiny's Child song. I'm a survivor. <laughs> oh, uh, I hate that song. I That's one of those songs that makes me want to rage quit life uh, every makes time. Makes you want to be a girl with pink hair and old lady voice and complain about it while working at Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, be- I become that lady when when Survivor comes oh, on. That's a shame. Oh, it's so bad. So dark. My you sister never, and I never said how old your coworker I, was. Uh, in her like forty five or fifty five ish, somewhere in there. Damn. It's hard to tell. Somewhere between forty-five and fifty-five. There, let's pink say hair. That. I assume she was young. I it's it's all a blur between the cigarette smoke. Yeah, like yeah, what, what, you can't really tell when they start to wrinkle like that, and you can tell it's because they've been at least smoking a little bit. Maybe have done some other stuff, and you know, Cocaine. she's you know, white people. White people age badly when they do drugs. So like, yeah, yeah. I have no idea. Good thing I'm not could, white. Uh, that would be awesome. She could be in her late twenties, for all I know, and she already looks like she's in her forties. No, but you're probably one of the whitest people I know, man. What, 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 why are you fronting? Uh, Lozella's you... whiter than me. <laughs> why are you fronting? I mean, yeah. I, I think I think Jen might be the, the whitest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, over the winter, I reach what I lovingly refer to as fluorescent levels of whiteness. <laughs> oh, so overexposure. Where, like, if I go outside, I kind of look like I'm one of those stupid Hold Twilight up. vampires, <laughs> where like the sun just like reflects off and it's, it just blinds oh, everybody. Man. She's yeah. what you refer to as <laughs> trident white. <Yeah>. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> touche. Touche. Fuck. Oh. That's my funny joke for this podcast. Yep. Take it away, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you actually, yeah, that was that was halfway decent. Good job. <laughs> now, now go away. <laughs> Shit, what was I gonna say? Something, something about fucking something. Well, well speaking of uh, not white people, uh, can we talk about? Oh yeah. Oh, y- oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dark, do you, have you heard <laughs> about what's happened with the whole Silent Hills thing? Have you been following that at all? Mm. I thought it was no. Silent Hill. Spoiler, it's been canceled. Are there multiple yeah. hills Why now? is there more than one? Why are we Yeah, yeah. This, this is yeah. kind of scary. It's just, Please, you finally someone... got away, and there's just another hill behind it. <laughs> the universe is making <laughs> sense anymore. Multiply. Yeah, the, it was a big combined project with people like uh, Kojima and Guillermo del Toro, Guillermo del Toro w- working on it. Yeah. And it was... It, Oh, yeah, it was this that. big project. Yeah. You know, there was a lot of hype for it. The trailer was amazing. Even though it was the just a like, just a demo, game. it got just as much hype and views as a normal like full game release did at the time. And 
just recently they announced that like Kojima, one of the main people working on it, is no longer going to be with Konami after the most recent game they're going to do. So the entire project is stopped, like com- like basically completely scrapped at this point. So it, it's gone into development. Yes, hell, they yes. still like they still say they intend to keep the franchise going, but this project essentially is stopped. And the uh, game trailer that I just uh, mentioned is actually probably by this point already gone off the PlayStation Store. Yeah. So it's just completely like xing out this big project, which probably would not one of their most right. successful games ever. Yeah, that's super disappointing. Uh, I would have literally they, bought a PS4 for that game. Like I, I'm not a they, big they, fan of Sony. Like I'm a, I'm an Xbox fanboy, and and I've, I've been Xbox and Nintendo my whole life, so I haven't really been in this Sony realm. But that that game's demo was so fucking good. I'm like, you know what? I'll drop X amount of money for a PS4 for that game. So way to go, fucking. Konami and the only you know, thing since Sony's Konami done is a business and businesses have to make money, they they are going to have to release this game since it's as far along in development as it actually as it actually is. So I mean, like they're probably just doing the whole, you know, he's leaving, so we're going to suspend it for a little while, but <sighs> they have to Yeah, the put problem it out is because it, they've already put I have a feeling it. that like Hideo's involvement, like his style of a uh, game game is so you know, different. Specific. It's so specific, yeah. and try to try to do a game without his help. I feel be really difficult, especially since like uh, I know the actor even <laughs> that was the like mo- the uh, main character, the quote unquote. For, yeah. Uh, even he for... tweeted that like the project was done. Yeah. And then. Oh, you mean like the guy yes. from Walking Dead? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Well, so sorry. I just picked up my phone and saw that I had a picture message from the chat, because my computer doesn't get those. Uh, talking about the trains in Super Mario. Are you talking about the fucking Shy Guys? No yeah, bot? that's exactly what I said underneath that. Look at the Shy Guys. They look like trains. <laughs> they do not look Come like on, trains. You choo choo motherfucker. <laughs> oh, my God. No, okay. Yeah, go away. Just... Just, oh, just, uh, to, just my, to, uh, well, first to go back to a question you guys asked earlier, uh, Jordan said that he believes it was called Silent Hills because it was g- going to contain a plot with multiple universes or realities. Uh, unfortunately, it's it now gone, so that's yeah. irrelevant. Uh, Lozelda says no, so no. <laughs> did, did she... Wait, what about what? <laughs> what did I say no to? I don't know. Fucking, you say no to a lot, so, you know. I know, that's why I'm curious what, like, Do we have to recount? thing we're talking about. <laughs> it's like, it's like when I ask somebody a question at work, and I'm like, I just have to make sure I'm not crazy, and they kind of look at me and they're like, about this particular situation, I'm not, I'm not implying that I'm not crazy in other situations, but, like, if you're gonna look at me like that, yes, this particular instance, is this correct? So it's like that. It's like I say no to a lot of stuff. I'm crazy in a lot of situations. I, we started the our phone call today. We talked about how I'm the loud, obnoxious one. So it's like, <laughs> I just, I just kind of own my personality. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> I love how you're like, we started the conversation with saying I'm the loud, obnoxious. Like, you claimed yourself. You're like, I am. Yeah, well, is she, I, yeah. Am. I mean, it was relevant. It was relevant to the conversation, whatever the fuck it was we were. Oh, Ch- yeah, Chazzy well. asked who it was when you joined the call because she wasn't looking at the oh, Skype. Yeah. And I, yeah. Oh, um, Five yeah. Nights at Freddy's four. That's a thing. Yes, right? we're getting. Oh, we're yeah. getting... <laughs> Dude, the way How you many nights up. at Freddy's does it take for someone to go? I'm not gonna work. Yeah. Oh no, no. The <laughs> thing is, it's a. It's not the same guy. It's every single game I is know, different. But I feel like, like, I feel like for me, it doesn't matter what job it is. I'm gonna type in the name of the place before I go, <laughs> go work there. And if every report's like, yeah, the last like seventeen guys who have worked here have all died after a week. Like, don't true. Do it, that'll that. depend. Would, Unless would like... this one might be, we don't know anything about it, like the time frame or anything. We can't even speculate. All that's we don't been even know sho- if it's gonna be like inside a. All pizza of that's shop known is that it is gonna happen, it's... and yeah. there's a release date set for uh, actually a long time compared to how quickly the other ones came out. This one seems to be a lot more production, you know, time going into it because it's released sometime in October, I believe. Um, 
So how come the you security know? guard spends all five nights there instead of just leaving after the first night? You can have uh, <laughs> you have, have like uh, no idea. four days on, that's a good three question. days off, and stuff like that. But you can do shifts like I that. I have finally played the first one. <laughs> do any, does anyone remember that copy that Mr. Fusion gave me like yeah. a while ago? Have you ago? played yeah. it yet? Yeah. yeah. yeah you're so, so, yeah, I, I totally played it with uh, oh. Ken, Samantha, oh. and Malcolm in oh. the room with me. Man, you guys should have recorded that. That would have been great. Yeah, I wasn't the only one screaming every time. <gasps> oh, I would have wanted to see monitor. that. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, uh, I, I was like, uh, I was watching the computer monitors, and I had a good beat on where they all were. And then I checked the hallway where I saw the bunny heading to, and bunny wasn't in the hallway. Yep. I'm like, oh my god. I check all the cameras. Oh my god. And I put the thing down, and there's bunny <laughs> in the room with me. And yeah, it completely. Completely. I don't. I don't want to say it freaked me out, but it startled me so bad there was an audible little squeak <laughs> that came from me and that? from <laughs> Samantha sitting next to me on the couch and from Ken who was sitting on the chair on the other and, side of the room. And was that all that on just night one? <laughs> no, that was night three. I made it to night three before I was murdered. Nice. nice. But uh, yeah, it was it, it was intense. And both Samantha and and Ken were were like, see, this is why I don't play games like this. I won't be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true. The, the creator of the game was actually having nightmares from the bunny character himself. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, the the, it, the it's the facial expression. Like they all have that deranged look, but with, on the bunny in particular, it's so terrible. It's like twice as creepy as all the other characters. Yeah. As the bear or the duck or whatever chicken thing. Or the facts. The facts. Ye. Show me the cat. Oh, that's what that Foxy. was. Okay, I couldn't figure out what the what the other one was. Supposed Foxy to be. the fox. It's you know, it's not Foxy the fucking honey badger. <laughs> 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 I mean, they stuck with alliteration. Foxy the mystery yeah, solving Chica the musician. chicken and Foxy the fox and Faz Faz the faz bear and Freddy you know, Faz. For, fazzy you know, the fazzy. Fazzy faz. Yo, so Don't worry about it. If you guys want a funny reaction video or something, you guys can just have me pl play something scary. Have you RTX played Five Nights at like Freddy's, that. for that matter? I have not. I can't play oh, scary So, uh, uh, that's what you're going to be games. playing, because that's, like, really easy to set up on just a portable laptop. And and what's also fun is uh, we're going to have, like, a special sort of scary month for October because I already recorded, like, about an hour or so of Outlast. Yeah, and, and, and let me tell uh, you what, I was oh, terrified. Since... Actually, I don't know if... It... I don't know if the Five Nights at Freddy's is gonna do it for me. Like, it might not be funny. I might, I might not even like blink if a jump scare pops up. Yeah, we'll see. At that point, you will. We'll see. You will. Jump scares are kind of like that's the thing. Everyone looks like, at least I've jumps back a like little. That. I play games like that, but like, like um, <clears throat> Slender: The Arrival. I can't even get through the first part of it because like I can't even walk into the house. Like, there's things in my head that just say, no, you're not going in there. Yeah, <laughs> it really, depe it really depends. It really depends. Finance of Freddy's is an individual game to itself. Yes, there's been a lot of clones, but the first game is not, it, even though it is based on jump scares, the mechanics and the whole idea around it is very unique. Yeah. So, uh, to give so it the a reason shot. why Five Nights at Freddy's works is that you don't really have a choice. Yeah. Like, where, where with Slender, where you have to walk into the house, you don't have the choice. You're already sitting in the room, and the whole game takes place from that one little room. So all you can do is look through the doors, check your computer monitors, and hope you're not wasting too much power. That's all you can do. It's so super simple, and that's one of the reasons why it's so easy to just fall right into it, because... You have nothing else to do. You're like, yeah. okay, I'm going to check on the animatronics now. Hey, one of them's missing. Sort of I wonder where they went. the mindset the game puts you and, in. Uh, and yeah. uh, I've said this before, but Gaijin Goomba also said that another thing that helps to really feed into uh, this game being very scary and intimidating is the same reasons that you would be fe uh, fearful of like animatronics and other stuff in real life is just having like but bad Cal experiences as a kid. Yeah. So if you've had the right experiences at the right age this type of game might freak you out. Yeah. Like, even before jump-scaring you. What, being viciously assaulted by a bunny? Yes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, well, or just be that whole uncanny valley thing. A lot of people just don't like things that look sort of human, but or just have that anthropomorphic look to well, them, it, I guess. It, That's just something that could, it's, it's like, slightly word. within the realm of believability. Of course, it's still really ridiculous, but... Uh, you know, malfunctioning yeah. robots, because if you don't go into the old, you know, there's ghosts and all that. Malfunctioning robots by itself is a scary uh, 
you know, idea. Yeah, yeah. or mm-hmm. even like people in suits. So you like we we you can watch like a cartoon of Mickey Mouse and be like, okay, yeah, Mickey Mouse, he's kind of cool looking. And then you see someone yeah. in a Mickey Mouse suit, and, that's and you're terrifying. like, no, that's really creepy. Yeah. And <laughs> they kind of hit that vibe right on yeah. with the with the character models here. It's like they're not meant to look like cute and cartoony. They're meant to look like someone inside a puppet. But these puppets are deranged, so it's, yeah. like, even worse. I, like, for Chuck E. Cheese's, for example, I still don't really like that. Like, I remember as a kid strongly just disliking how Chuck E. Cheese, the, the mouse, and, and his all his old gang looked. Like, it just looked so fake and... <laughs> gang. Just, well, not necessarily. <laughs> the crew. Just, yeah, the crew, you know? It was just <laughs> they... the, the gang, the crew, whatever. Fucking, they're all, they were just very too animatronic to certain... I don't know, it was just really... Well, they've they've it's changed design yeah, since guess. then, and they look they look like I guess more <laughs> kind of like yeah. they did in the just, game. when they weren't as cartoony, and they were more like I'm a real living mouse that's seven feet tall. It's like stay, please <laughs> like, don't. Oh God, yeah, that, don't yeah, that, that's so exactly so that's exactly so what would have created fears if that type of thing. You saw that type of thing as a kid, then this game would be like well, um, but overall, like the the fourth game is going to come out in October so that, that you know that can be its own stream just like I did for the third game and yeah, I'm looking forward to that at RTX I want to at least play one of them uh like see if no see if nobody either does or does not actually get reactions out of that game and yeah. uh possibly the second one uh dark you should definitely attempt the second one as well sometime because it's a whole I need to beat the first one first. <laughs> uh, Fair that, if you're not able to, let's say, or sometime. I will beat it. It's like five nights. I got three days through the five okay. nights. I can beat it. Yeah. Well, then, Fair in enough. the future, just in the future, you should play the second game as well, because it's just, it's more intense. Well, I'll put it that way. Well, it's also, like, connected story-wise. I think, the, the, to me, the creepiest part is just, like, story, because it... It makes you, it like, think, does. and thinking is obviously, like, but he drives you nuts. So, yeah, he teases you with just enough details. Just that slight, like, slight amount, like, oh, the bite of 87. Just casually mention, like, little tiny things add into the whole... You start creating... First of all, you start creating these theories and lore in your head, and then also you know, these things are going on in the back of the mind as you're looking for Bonnie and panicking that he's not where he should be or that foxy isn't in his place anymore Mm -hmm. that's one thing that the first one actually didn't do as much of but has it did do a pretty good job so if you look at the mechanics of the game you're just sitting in sitting in a room looking at monitors uh and you know the uh animatronic characters move around occasionally Mm -hmm. so there's really not a lot going on but because the guy on the phone tells you so much it lets you it lets your imagination go to work it's like those like um 19 what 1970s mm-hmm. horror movies like the first alien movie where it's like the absence mm-hmm. of the thing makes it so much worse yeah. because your imagination you is going where, places where it. it is or what it's doing if it's right outside you yeah and then when it finally does show up like you're already like pumped you've pumped yourself up not maybe not pumped up is the right word but you know you already freaked yourself out because Mm -hmm. you've been thinking about it and so when it actually happens it doesn't matter if it looks like a rainbow unicorn farting happiness it's it's still going to scare you because you're expecting this terrible thing and yeah i think it does a really good job of doing that it builds up the anticipation so when it finally happens you're like holy shit there it is like the sun sign from dead space or yeah Fuck. Yeah, dude, Dead Space, man, that was a game that fucking, like, scared me shitless. That game was so fucking difficult on the harder difficulties, Mm -hmm. and it sucked because you couldn't carry, like, in the saves, if you wanted to restart the story and and keep playing and unlock more armor and and get more achievements, you can unlock it and then eventually increase the difficulty, but there's a certain point in the difficulty where you'd have to start over on a brand new file and you couldn't carry over anything, so you were naked. And you were just you, you were <laughs> used to all like the badass equipment. You're not afraid of anything. You know what ev- you know where everything is and how to you know how to react to everything. But in the harder difficulties, like there's more everything uh, there's more things there's trying more to get you. Well there's more things trying to get you. There's less ammo on the ground. Enemies drop less ammo, you know there may have been a, an extra jump scare here and there that weren't originally you in the with game. all skulls on? Basically, you know, and 
Dead Space, man. Fucking ridiculous. And I also love the lore and stuff that, that they built with the marker and the like the singularity and the, all this crazy stuff. But, you know, the third game kind of made me Is this Mass Effect now? End. Nah, fucking so, Dead Space. Uh, Dark, did you... <laughs> Well, uh, Dark, did you actually give any of your cousins mm-hmm. or Ken a chance to be at the mouse, or were they just in for the ride? Oh, no, they refused. I tried to get them to do it. And <laughs> they outright refused. <laughs> oh, I really, I really wish nice. that had like been on camera because that would have been hilarious to see like four people exploding, just hunched together Crying. in a dark room. Just... Shrieking in terror in the yeah, e- Even together. though I've played <laughs> oh God, and should... seen the game a lot, even then I still, you know, it, you jump every now and then. Well, it's a different experience when you're the one yes. actually controlling it. Yeah. Like, you can watch someone have a reaction to it, and you're like, oh, okay, no big deal, they're just doing whatever. But then when you're actually the one, like, like okay, I'm bored, because that's what you do. Like, I could sit there and stare at the hallways and wait for one of them to show up and then shut the door, but that's so boring. So you wind up, like, actually participating. Like, I've got enough power. Let me watch the computer monitors for a while. Oh, look, they're moving around. Oh, this one's moving somewhere. And then you look down, and, like, you get that music. Like, bam, there it is in the doorway. Really? Like, fuck. I got caught up in it. Yeah. It's like, it's those moments that you realize that it's doing something very right when you you just kind of get caught up in the moment, mm-hmm. and then... There it is. Bam. Yeah. For for a lot of the scrutiny the game comes it under when it comes does. to how fast it's being released it, and a lot of other stuff. It gets, it, it, it gets, gets uh, uh, it was, uh, the game theorist in his most point. recent video, or one of the most recent videos, is uh, helps to point it out. Is like, you can either like this game or you don't like it. And then when he talks about Five Nights at Freddy's, well, you can either think it's a really good horror game or then he throws out a lo- load of curse words and makes it look like the opposition has like a giant hammer and is attacking the person that likes it. Like he pulls it that. <laughs> yeah. it's, it cool. seems like that much. For some reason, this game drives, you know, super levels of hate and it's completely unwarranted. You can think it's not, you know, that good of a game. It's not that big of a game. I think one thing that's throwing a lot of people off is that they're used to, you know, games like Call of Duty, which, you know, still come out a lot uh, really quickly, you know, one every year, you know, Assassin's Creed. And then this game is essentially a mini game. Uh, a very small game. It's five yeah. short nights, and if you're like a, an expert, you can beat the game in an hour. Yeah, so that, yeah, that's too. Super cheap, though. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like you dish out five bucks, game. you have a lot, buttload of scares, and yeah, depending on your experience, for me, you, you have a great time. So, and the replayability, the replayability value comes from the fact that there's lore that's built into the game. There's oh yes. Easter eggs. There's all these things that there's that certain you there's certain Easter into. eggs yeah. which you which guys could have played the game dark. You can play the game die. Great amount of times you probably never run into certain a certain character that's hidden in the game. Uh, there's like r- another Easter egg is randomly when the game starts, it would show a grotesque figure, and like for a couple seconds yeah. before the game actually starts, and that only happens like a one in like seven hundred chance or something like that. Like very very rare. Um, little little things like yeah. that are also hidden within the game. Sweet, so are there other Five Nights at Freddy's no. where you're not just sitting in the you're room? You're always going to be sitting in the room. The second one like, takes it to a whole new level. Uh, they remove the doors. So your only protection is, in fact, a flashlight. <laughs> Why? Why did they take <laughs> away the doors? So you just, yeah, yeah, you just, you just, oh, I'm with Lozella. Yeah, yeah, they, they, take, the away, they doors. take away the Why doors, they and uh, I'm not going to say too much about it because I do want you to play it in the future, but the reason that... You, when you press the light and they're right outside your door, the light actually stuns them for a few seconds. Awesome. So, like, dirt. And then they eat you anyway. Awesome. Perfect. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, let's go back to So they're stunned. Yeah. They're still stunned. Yeah. Before you don't have a door. There's a defense thing you can do. Why? Like, let's, let's, look at this. let's not even talk about how dumb this is a game as a game mechanic. Let's this isn't a... It's... This is a Zelda. Decision. Zelda. Why it's actually... It's actually a prequel. The doors that are in the first open. game, they have doors because it's set in the future. It's it's in a previous time. You're going back in time. So so they added they added <laughs> doors because people kept dying with the flashlight. Yes. So now... now 
now I'm more pissed about the doors I don't than the think... first one. So they added <laughs> shitty doors that you can't keep closed. <laughs> they yep. also added maps. Um, hey, my, oh, failing, my per- yeah, it's a failing franchise. franchise that's been shut down multiple they times. They had the to... nice things. Yeah. No, it's like... I th- no, I wonder no, why. No. This is bullshit. <laughs> if we're saying it's a failing franchise, okay, it's got to be more expensive. It was a different. It's a different door. building entirely. Like yeah, it's yeah. a chain. It's a chain of Freddy Fazbear restaurants. So, so, the like different things have happened in different locations. Like it started out as this single of Fred Bear's like building. It was just just Freddy Fazbear, Diamond, the animatronic, yeah. and that was its whole thing. That place was the site of like the a murder. And then that kind of, you know, caused that place, original first place, to shut down. It was bought out by someone else, created what we know in the games as the Fazbear Company. And that has lots of different buildings in, in yeah. itself. Yeah. What it, what it feels like to me is that it, it's not so much the, the lore that they're putting in there. Like, yeah, because like... Uh, it, it, Sure. Everything that do, that they do does not make any sense from a business perspective. So it feels like like yeah. wh- whoever this fucker is that got you to take this job is actually like the Saw character, the Jigsaw character yeah. from the Saw movies, who like intentionally puts people inside this hello? horrific like yeah. setup hello, just hello? so that he can watch them die. Well, my 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 theory to the whole <laughs> game was it's like a hell dimension, well. and that's where people get sent when they're like <laughs> if they have so a particular phobia of yeah. It's like you're going to hell, son. Yeah, we're sent. Yeah, and you like you only have a slight. Chuck E. Cheese is forever for you. Yeah, basically, like if you hated animatronics as a kid and and all that other fun stuff. I don't know, like just to torture. Would that be considered (laughs) Android? Android hell. I don't know. Five Nights at Freddy's. I I was. um, What was interesting Um, about (laughs) the third game is uh, Markiplier, one of the most prominent players of it. Like, if you look up find that's at freddy's gameplay he's the first on the list essentially um he assumed at the end of the third game that it was a finale i felt differently because of the way that they were going about the series um is this time it actually seems to be the last game because they the you know scott himself on the picture put the final chapter uh Though I was hoping, just because it would fit the theme, like this was just a personal thing, I don't know if he'd actually have enough story to put into the uh, two more games, but it to be five games of Freddy's. But, yeah. Uh... Well, Chaos properly predicted, uh, in my opinion, I think you predicted the fact there would be another game. Because you're like, the way way it was left, there should be more, and you talked about how... It would be fitting and, and another theory. I don't like think like, yeah, it'll be uh, actually realized. But say you have all four games, you've played all four games, and you've completely one hundred percented all games. Then there would be a fifth game unlocked, and like it... that would be cool. <laughs> yeah, you are the animatronics. It's after you've been killed, <laughs> dude. But it's it's no 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 no. You're a yeah. guy inside of a suit. And, you're tr- and it's like red light, green light. But if the camera sees you, then the animatronics are going to know you're there and they're going to come kill you. But you have to try to run to him <laughs> and say... You, you actually get to be the phone oh guy. God, it's actually a real boring game. You just have to be the phone guy and you're making the calls. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the guy from Five Nights at Freddy's 2 who actually apparently died with the flashlight. He's actually coming in there with his flashlight to save him, to stun the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> on the animatronics. There you go. Those are All our right, guys. We're gonna have to start wrapping this up. Yep, we yep, are yep, yep. at like almost ten thirty now. <laughs> we we are at the hour mark. No, I we to have to go wait on for another thirty minutes just for Wubs, but um, six a. Right, so so, uh, Marcus, how much money did you donate so far? Well, yeah, well, I didn't well, hear the donation sound well, go well, off. This is um, your uh, editing. I expect at the end of this podcast to do that little uh, time clock from the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's games. Dun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead and do the social media spiel real quick since do it. we don't got a Tijin Lee. Alrighty, everybody. You can check us at the forum oh, thread man. everywhere. <laughs> Facebook, <laughs> Twitter, <laughs> YouTube. If you want some video game stuff or TFT plays, 
We also have a wonderful selection of other social media, such as Instagram, Vine, fucking Tumblr. We're everywhere, baby. Just look up the form thread, and you'll find us there. Hit me, baby. What? <laughs> and we are done. <laughs> <laughs> that has been the spiel. Bye. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful uh, night. Good night, everybody. Bye. We'll see you next week. <laughs>